Hey YouTube, it's your boy G Miles. Today we're back on our video. Today we're gonna be doing some cheesy uh, garlic sticks or something like that. So here are the ingredients for the cheesy garlic sticks. You know, since you know I got the cheese right here, since you know I was, I'm supposed to be using my mozzarella, but instead I had to use uh, what I got. Okay, everything, uh, so you got everything I needed. And I'm gonna get everything set up since I gotta make the dough for it. Okay, once you got a bowl like this, and all we're gonna do now is just pour two and a half cups of all purpose flour. So that's two cups. And that's a half a cup. So two and a half cups of flour. Once you did, once you did that. I'm gonna need to do now just add one teaspoon of sugar. All right, once you add the one teaspoon of sugar, but right now we're gonna add one teaspoon of salt. Gonna take that spot out. I'm pretty sure. Okay, once you add the one teaspoon of salt. And what we're going to do, do now is add two teaspoons of olive oil. Yeah, that's pretty much all you need, though. Uh, once you added the two teaspoons of olive oil, but, but the last thing we got to do before adding the water is add the instant yeast they always say you want to do all this waiting around and stuff so just add the yeast which is the instant yeast once you get that and all I'm going to do now just stir for a bit yeah like that and then try your best like pour some of the water in here just one cup of water. Just give it a stir it up. Just like that. And there they are. Just keep on doing what you're doing. Until it's all mixed in though. Pretty good though, you know? Yeah, that's all it takes. Alright, once you keep on adding the warm water. Just one cup. Yeah, you can tell that it's that the stuff is turning turn this stuff in, into a dough. And all I'm gonna do now is just keep on doing the same thing. Don't even care. It is what it is. Just keep doing uh, doing what you're doing until it's turning into turning it into a dough. I'm pour the rest. See how it reacts to Yeah, once you did, once you did that, yeah, you can tell that it's starting to turn into a dough, but not quite. And I'm gonna get situated with the dough if I can. Okay, once you got your dough taken care of, check it out. If you just use your hands though, don't be afraid though. Just use them. Just, just like that. And what I'm gonna do now, just find, is, is to find like knead our dough or something like that. And I'm gonna get a cutting board or something else so I can knead this dough. Okay, once, once you got your uh, cutting board out, and all I'm gonna do now, just add the flour on there. So we can have our dough less and stickier. Okay, what you do, just put the flour on top of the flour board. Once you do, just continue to knead our dough. Well, begin to knead your dough like this until 
it's in the right place though, you know? Yeah, just thinking though. Just do what you gotta do. And, and there you go. That's how you do it. Once you need your dough for a couple times, and there you go. That's all you gotta do. Yeah, check it out. All nice and smooth. And what I'm gonna do now, just get a, get a bowl that we use to make our dough with. Since I gotta put some oil around the bowl so I can smudge it and put, the, and put the dough into the bowl so I can let it rest for about an hour though. So yeah. All right, once you got your bowl out, what I'm gonna do now, just pour olive oil on here, so it can use a hand so I so can smush the bowl around. So, okay, once you did that, just finally put, pull your dough on top of the bowl. Send, I have to use some of it just to make the dough all night nice and slick, you know. Yeah, and that's how you do it. And I'm gonna get a towel or something just to cover this up so we can rest our dough. Okay, once you got got a towel or something, I'm gonna you know just put the towel around the bowl so it can make it neat. Old neat does not be be that perfect. And voila, there you go. Once you put a towel all, all over the bowl of dough. And what we're gonna do, do now, just let this rest for like probably an hour or something like that until it pops up like a balloon. And I'm gonna catch you back in an hour once the dough is risen up for an hour though. Okay, once you I like, melt your butter, since I don't plan to, to do all that. And first, what you need to do, just add your little seasonings, like some salt. Got to, got, got to add a little salt. And what else? What else? Some accent. And of course, some Italian season. And last but not least, is some gar garlic powder. Just have that gar garlic taste, though, you know? Once you, yeah, see, once you put all the seasoning in, in there, now I'm going to do eighty now, just stir it up. That way, so we don't we won't have to worry about it. Like so, yeah, that's the sauce. Okay, once you make your little sauce for the garlic bread, I mean cheesy garlic bread sticks, and I'm gonna we know let the we know dough rise even more though. Okay, once your dough has been resting for an hour, and I'm gonna do now just take a look at it in three, two, one. And voila, there we go. That's how you do it. That's it. that's what happens when you rest it for an hour though, the dough. And all I'm gonna do now, just push it so we can let some air out. Or else, gonna, gonna get some bad vibes from it, like gas, <laughs> you know? And what we're gonna do now, just I'm gonna roll it or something like that. Since you know, I'm just trying to stay in shape it though. Okay, in order to to roll the dough out, since you know, I'm probably gonna shape up like a rectangle. And I'm gonna do now just pour a little flour on there. Ooh, did not mean to break the glass. Well, I didn't. You know, I'm gonna do now just smudge it around. Mm. Finally get get our dough out like that. Okay, one hey, once we get that, now we're gonna do, do now just get a rolling pan and put some flour over it. Like so. Now we're gonna do now just roll out for a bit so if we try to try to get this turn into a rectangle, well trying to. Or else I'm gonna do it by using this 
can or, or something like that. Yeah. And that's how we do it. And all we do, they do now just get to the tray once we can. Okay, once we roll, roll the dough, I mean, dough out a little. And all we need to do now just try, I see, try our best to make it like a right, let's see, like a rectangle, a little trying to. Since the dough usually don't, don't very do too much stressing out on its own, but I'm gonna try to. Since it's all about a bit of quality of work though, but not really though. Since I'm just doing it for a good reason though, you know? Yeah. And I think that's all we're gonna manage though. Yeah. And I'm gonna do a work working on dough since it's a lot of hard work. Okay. Once you got your dough to add made into a rectangle, and all I'm gonna do now just pour a seat, you know, spread a little butter on there with some garlic seasoning. You know, which is a sauce though, but I make it work though, you know? But it's gonna take me a, a lot of time though. Well, you know how I am when I'm trying to finish all that. Well, I'm not gonna do all that. Well, just to film on that. Yeah, check it out. And I'm gonna get, get through this if I get a chance. All right, once you got your Butter with garlic and salt and, and, and garlic powder on there. And all I'm gonna do now just finally put ASC for our cheese on top. Yeah, like that. Since I'm, I'm just using most of the cheese though, you know. Since I was since I'm supposed to be using mozzarella, but they don't they don't have any. Sorry for smacking my lips a little. Yeah, that's all we're gonna manage though. Well, this cheese though, you know, it ain't gonna hurt though. Okay, once you got your cheese laid on top of the dough, and what I'm gonna do now is just add a little, a little bit of garlic powder just to make the stuff, you know, more garlicky, well, not too much. And last but not least, it's some Italian season, it's just the hair. Yeah, if I make it too strong or anything, I'm just making it right. Yeah, like that. And there you go, that's how you do it. And off against the oven, finally, if we have a chance. Ooh, all right, once you get to the oven, if you see 400, pre your oven to 400, probably so the garlic cheese breadsticks will cook faster. Like that. Well, let's see what you got this in there, which I'm going to show you. And I'm going to do it right now, just put this in the oven, moment of truth. And there you go. That's how you do it. Once you got your cheesy garlic bread, let's see, breadsticks in there. And all I'm gonna do now is just let this cook for a while until it's fully done. Yeah, it's gonna be wild. All right, once your cheesy, uh, I mean, your garlic cheesy breadsticks has been cooking for a while, a bit. And all I'm gonna do now is just take it out. Shake it out, looking good, like real pizza, you know? But it's actually breadsticks that I'm gonna cut up. Ooh, check it out. And I'm gonna do now, just turn, as you turn off, right after you're done cooking the garlic cheese and breadsticks. And I'm gonna get to the oven, if I, if I can, though. Hey, hey everybody, I'm back. And what we got here is the cheesy breadsticks, which I'm gonna cut up soon. That'll turn that'll turn into like this. Yeah. 
and I only I do now just let this cool out for a bit before we get started on cutting on cutting stuff. Yeah. And I've let this cool down for a while though. Okay, once your cheesy garlic breadsticks has been cooling off, and all I'm gonna do now is just cut them. That. I don't know how it's done, but even though I'm trying to, that's maybe no, no difference though. Ooh, there we go. And all I'm gonna do now is just do it like that. And there you go. That's how you do it. You know what I'm saying? Put some kind of all the way through there. Yeah, and plus I have a piece of cutter. It shouldn't give me no, no issues though. Yeah. And I'm gonna take some now once I can since you know get a little hungry though. Hey I'm back, so once you got your cheesy garlic Hey, breadsticks cut up nice and good. And all I want to do now just take some out. Since I use a knife, so I can cut, cut some of it even more, though, you know. Yeah, this is all gonna do. Yep, once you did, did that, and all I want to do now just finally get to the plate of garlic cheesy breadsticks. Hey, I'm back. So, moment truth. So, here are the garlic cheesy breadsticks. Yeah, like that. Ooh, pretty. Kind of similar to pizza, though. You know, eating pizza. Check out the bread. Check out the sauce. This is that. Enough of all that. I don't even do now. Just ooh, try it out. Yeah. And check out the cheese, the Italian seasoning, the cock powder. Yeah. And let's get this a taste test in 3, 2, 1. Man, that's some good cheesy garlic breadsticks. And I can get through with my cheesy garlic breadsticks once again, so you know, I'm starving. Hey, I'm back. So the garlic cheesy breadsticks that I had is super good and amazing. Ooh, pretty much reminded me of pizza. But sorry, I have to change shirts. So, you know, I can't keep on wearing the st same stuff every day, every other day when I'm doing videos and stuff. So that's all I'm saying. So check it out. Cheesy garlic breadsticks, eat my me. And check out the rest of them. Yum. Perfection. Perfect. Perfect flavor for everything. Just cheesy garlic breadsticks from, from scratch. And that's wrap right on those cheesy garlic breadsticks. And also pretty much reminded me of Pizza Hut. Because Pizza is my favorite pizza place to eat, though, you know? Way too. If you're new to this channel, please give a like, share, and subscribe. And also hit the hit the notification bell every chance. And it's been the boy Jim Miles. Peace. I hope you enjoyed that video. Man, could have go better with some marinara marinara sauce. So peace out.